G'day, I'm Nev from Osco Campers and um, what I've got behind me here is a Toyota Coastar long wheel base or a 21 seater bus. Um, it's been used as a transportation vehicle for passengers and things like that and uh, we're going to convert it into a motor home. Now um, the reason why, we're going to convert the Toyota Coaster into a motor home. Uh, a few main reasons, one it's a really nice size, it's not too big and it's not too small. So um, it's still able to, um, like the length across here like this, it's about 1.8 metre wide. So it's wide enough to be able to lie this way or that way, but it's narrow enough to go into national parks and down some tracks and things like that. Whereas a big bus, uh, you're going to be limited to the highway, uh, caravan parks that only accommodate big buses. And if you want to go into town to get something, you've got to unload the four wheel drive or what have you. Whereas a coaster you can drive straight into uh, town and it'll generally take up uh, two car parts. So uh, that's a good thing. Uh, another benefit of the Toyota coaster is the motor. The motors in these are a, uh, a diesel motor for one. Uh, they're a Toyota Land Cruiser motor, which is the main reason why I like them. Uh, wherever you go in Australia, you'll be able to get parts and you'll also be able to find someone that'll be able to work on your vehicle if you need them to. And um, they're very simple because Toyota's, everything Toyota's is straightforward and simple. There's no fancy stuff in them. Um, as for the bus itself, it's got lots of big windows. Uh, it drives like a Toyota Camry. Anyone can drive it. Once it's converted to a motor home, you can um, uh, register as the two seat and keep it under the 4.490 ton weight. And that means you can be driven on a regular car license as well. And so that's another good thing. Um, okay, well, pretty much that's um, the rundown on the Toyota Coaster. Um, and we're going to build this vehicle into a motorhome, uh, what we call a free camper, which means that it will be self sufficient to the point of not having to plug into 240. Um, though it'll have 240 if you go to a campground, it'll also have um, a gas fridge and, and gas running in the vehicle as well so that um, when you're out in the national park you've got your own uh, supply of energy uh, being the gas to the fridge and all that. Um, okay that's all I'm going to talk about the bus right now and I'll um, talk to you later. Bye now.